The following video contains some language not suitable for a young audience. In this day and age, video games are everywhere. From TV to magazines, newspapers and movies, the list goes on and on. Gaming has become the mecca of entertainment for both children and adults alike. Gaming has become so popular in fact that there is now major league competitions involving certain game titles. Players get hired and signed to contracts just like athletes to compete in these tournaments. The most well-known company in the pro gaming world is MLG Major League Gaming. There are many popular games in the market today, but there is one game series in particular that reigns supreme among all others, and that series is Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a first-person shooting game that is now the largest franchise in gaming history, selling millions of games across various gaming platforms such as PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, and many more. With the growing popularity of the Call of Duty franchise, many people have their own reaction to the game. Many like them. Awesome first-person shooter, great graphics, great gameplay, great online, great campaign. Just the whole fact that you can fuck people up and kill people and get away with it. It's better than sex. The best first, first person shooter games ever made. I do like it. I do really like COD. Some despise them. I hate it and I hate everybody who plays it. Tell you the truth, I don't really like Call of Duty and I don't really like first person shooters in general. I am one of those people who fucking hates it. And others remain silent on the topic. I will fuck your life up. The first Call of Duty game was released on October 29, 2003. However, the series did not jump to popularity until the release of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare in 2007. Since that day, the Call of Duty franchise has risen to enormous heights amongst fans. But why do so many people like these games? Just the whole fact that you can fuck people up and kill people and get away with it. That's, that's why I like it. I do like it. I do really like COD. The thing is, I do not love it as much as many people do. I do like it though. Call of Duty is probably the best game ever made. Probably, I'd say. I This is my favorite, of course, Black Ops. It's just one of the best shooters ever made. I mean, this is why. This is why I play games. You know, it's better than sex. I'm being serious. <laughs> it's just the best game ever. I mean, it's a brilliant shooter. Everybody loves it. Um, you know, it's just, you can play it on your own and it's great, and even better when you play it with your friends. I mean, it is fantastic.
So, it's a thumbs up from me. I think it's a brilliant game. I think it's a brilliant series, and I hope it goes on for hundreds more years. The best first first person shooter games ever made. I think it's better than some of the ones that I play, like Trigger Man. This game sucks ass. I don't like it. You know, you can just play your own through the campaign mode or in veteran mode. I do. I did mine on. Um, I have more normal mode and online, I'm not really that good at it. It's an awesome game, awesome first person shooter, great graphics, great gameplay, great online, great campaign. If you could rip somebody's head off and shit down their neck, I mean, you'd like it too, wouldn't you, Rob? You, you could shoot people, like Ethan says, shoot people, get away with it, teabag them after you kill them, and they'll get angry at you, try to come back to you, shoot them again. It's pretty much great online, and if you like campaign, war game, and capturing people, sort of, Game than just game. I heard what the casual fans had to say about the Call of Duty franchise, but now I wanted to get a more professional opinion on what makes the series so special. And to do that, I have to travel to Claremont, Florida to talk to programmer himself, Lee Wanamaker. When it comes to gameplay, Lee's the master and he knows more about what makes a game tick than anyone. On PSN, Lee is currently at level 19 with over 3,157 trophies. Now I know what you're thinking. What are trophies, right? Well, in today's gaming world, players earn achievements and trophies while they're playing their games. A trophy can be unlocked whenever a player does something special. For an example, in Star Wars The Force Unleashed, you can earn a trophy or an achievement by beating the game on hard or by collecting all the Holocrons in the game. The more trophies or achievements a player earns, the higher they are ranked. When a player earns all the trophies in the game, they get a special trophy called a Platinum to show that they 100% complete the game. To earn a Platinum, players must sometimes beat a game 3 to 4 times and the average time it takes to plat a game is anywhere from 40 to 60 hours and sometimes more depending on the game. So as you can see, earning a Platinum is no easy task. Lee Wanamaker has 43 and counting. I gotta find my guy. I like Call of Duty because there's a lot of people playing the game. You know, you, you know, you play the game, you don't have to worry about never finding a match because there's a lot of people that play the game. So that's why I like Call of Duty and the game's just fun. Addicting as hell. That's that's just how it is. It's, the game is just addicting. You can't stop once you start playing. And I don't know why people hate it so much. It's, it's a good game, has flaws like every other game, so uh, you can't just judge the game on the flaws and not really give it a chance. However, there are a few out there who are not fans of the Call of Duty series and think the day will come when the first person shooting genre will disappear. I feel that the producers and makers who are actually making this game don't really have, didn't really have passion in making games. I feel they just their drive is just to make only money. After Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, they, I think they need to stop. The first person shooter genre is nothing more than a trend, a fad. It's going to disappear in a few years. If you look at video games through the timeline, the video game market is always changing. Whether it be RPGs, DDR, Dance Dance Revolution was a big thing a few years back. That went to Guitar Hero, Rock Band, which was immensely popular and we moved into the first person shooter genre and I have no doubt in my mind that maybe two three years down the road all these major titles like Black Ops, uh, upcoming Modern Warfare 3 these titles will no longer be top sellers on the market to me if uh, if a game is just simply about running around and shooting people and there's no real main objective to why it's happening then I have no interest. It's not a tactical game, really. Like, everyone's just kind of running about, doing their own thing. You know, there's there's just so little skill involved in it, and I just kind of, it pisses me off a bit. Um, you get these fucking guys who complain so much, because I'm quite, I enjoy tactical games. Like, where is it? There it is. You want a fucking tactical game? Play Metal Gear Solid online. That's a sweet game. There's so much involved in it. And you can't just win by yourself. Unlike in this game where, you know, it's just every man for himself, really. Uh, it just really pisses me off. And you get these fucking guys who will, you know, run around shooting, you know, doing whatever they do. And whenever I used to play it, you know, you'd have... You'd find a spot, 
you lie down, you camp, you wait for them to come for you, and then obviously you get spammed with hate mail saying, oh, you fucking camper, what the hell are you doing? It's a fucking tactical game, you bellend! I feel that most first-person shooter games are the same, and I feel that uh, if, if a new company got together and went to make a, a new game, they should make a brand new game, make a brand new game, take a risk, and try and get new people into more different variety of games. But what I feel that these guys have done